as busy as a bee. By the seventh day, God finished the work he had been doing. On the seventh day, he rested from all his work. Bees stay busy, really busy. Just to fly, a bee has to flap its wings 200 times per second, which give it that bzzz sound. The worker bees are the busiest of them all. They're the ones that are sent out to find nectar and pollen, which they then turn into honey. Entomologists, that's a big word for bug experts, found that bees make 12 collection trips each day. And a bee will visit between 50 and 100 flowers on each of those trips. These busy bees work almost non-stop from sunrise all the way to sunset. And when they need a break, they may take a 30 second nap. Worker bees have a very short but incredibly productive lives. The average worker bee lives only three to six weeks. But of course, it's a good thing to work. It's a good thing to play. And it's a good thing to be busy. But it's also a good thing to rest. Your body needs sleep. When you're asleep, your brain gets ready for the next day, tidying up thoughts and storing away all the things you want to remember. Sleep is also when your body heals and repairs your heart and blood vessels to keep you running in tip-top shape. When you're a kid, sleep is the time your body produces a hormone to help you grow. When you don't get enough sleep, you don't think clearly and your body doesn't work as well as it should. Even though God never gets tired, He took time to rest after He created the world. He did that to teach us that rest is important. So yes, go and be as busy as a bee sometimes, but then make sure you get plenty of rest. Let's pray together. Lord, I understand there are times to be busy and times to rest. Teach me to work and to rest for your glory. Amen. Be amazed. A fact for the day. Honey is sometimes called a miracle food or superfood. That's because it contains almost every nutrient needed for life. And it won't spoil for years, even thousands of years. In fact, archaeologists have found pots filled with honey in ancient Egyptian tombs. And it's still good to eat.